Hi guys, it's Mike here from KS Bushcraft Down Under. Today I thought I'd do you a review <coughs> on the Yeti Loadout Buckets. Now buckets, I must admit I've had a love-hate relationship with them. I really like the practicality, the multi-tasks that you, you could put them to. But the quality of them, such as ah, these little cheapies that they use for washing the car, and often they fail washing the car, have no place in them. So then you step up to the venerable 20 litre multi-use white plastic bucket. Now they'll, they go the distance. I have pulled the handles off them in the past, but they last for quite a few years. So the budget's the feature. I can fully recommend them buying them a good quality one of these. This one here is actually my fishing bucket. I like to keep just enough gear so I can grab it and go and know that I can go down to the beach or wherever with just the right amount of stuff. Okay, so the Eddie Loadout Bucket in Australia retails for $69.95 Australian. Comes with four colours. The white sea foam and the two I have here is tan and charcoal. So the charcoal is a good match for the uh, the tub of my utility. So the old adage, what the eye doesn't notice, the hand doesn't want, is quite effective. Now, uh, it looks like the absolute tank, it really is. It's got a uh, anti-slip base. It has multiple tie-down points. It's got a good strong handle, so I'll, I'll test the handle with a room full bucket, and it can handle that load easily. Now if I do the same with the white one, the pull the handle clean off. I've done it many times in the past. So when you're camping in it, <coughs> you could use, it's a food grade safe plastic, so you can store water in it, you can do your dishes, you can wash your clothes, you use it as a seat. There's just so many uses for them. So I bought a couple of the accessories, I didn't buy them all. I bought the, uh, the lid, which is an incredibly tough piece of uh, kit. Now that retails for $49.95. It has this little duck bill breather valve in there and a seal. So we'll test how it goes with a, uh, a full load of water and I'll give it a ride in the car. <coughs> and I want to test it, charcoal version, as a, uh, a solar water heater and see how that performs. So I say 50 bucks Australian, not cheap. The gear caddy, which is quite good, I've been using it so I think it could wash out. There's a little handle so you can get big man paws in there, which is important. It nests nicely in the top and it works with the lid. So you hear the lid locking down. So it's sort of a good seal, but because of the duckbill valve, it'll let air back in. So it's, you can get it off, which is a problem with the white plastic ones. Now anything you may have that fits the standard fishing box here will nest inside the outer lip but of course the uh, lid won't go back on <coughs> what I did I just tied this little lanyard here so I can retrieve it so I can use it so we'll go through and uh, Test this bucket, I've been using it for several months and I can tell you it is a great system and a great piece of kit. So we'll test heating up water on some fine day and uh, all the rest. Anyway guys, hang in there. So we've all had the experience of uh, buckets that the handle pulls off, so I've got it completely full of water. Oh boy that's heavy, but absolutely no problems and lifting that much weight. Well guys, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I've got water in this Yeti bucket at 24.4 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to position it so it'll catch the rest of the sun for the day. I'll put the, uh, the lid on and we'll see if it makes a nice pleasant shower by the end of the day, which I'm hoping it will. So um, we'll see how it does perform as a uh, a shower warming bucket. So guys it's uh, almost three o'clock so it's just under six and a half hours out in the sun. It's running at um, 42.3 degrees Celsius. 
yeah, 43, 47, almost 44 degrees. The average air temperature today has been about 26 degrees. There hasn't been much wind, which is good. So, uh, oh, that is a pleasantly hot shower, it really is. So I think that's proof of concept that this can be used as a uh, solar-powered shower bucket for camping. Okay guys, so I've got the uh, Yeti bucket secured on the lashdown points. I've got chockers full of water. What I'll do, I'll give it a ride around in the ute with the, uh, the lid on. See how it goes for holding water in on the move. Then after that I'll test it, see if it keeps rain out, keep the stuff inside dry. Now if you are carrying water in a bucket, as I say an extra water source, and you don't have a lid, you can actually put in greenery and that'll uh, stop the wave forming up and keep more of it in than it just sloshing around loose. guys I'm giving it uh, 30 minutes under the sprinkler because it's not raining at the moment so it'll be a, a pretty fair test to see if this Yeti lid can keep your contents of your bucket dry so um, all in all if your budget isn't the most important part and you're looking for a really solid piece of kit I think we can fully recommend the bucket so we'll have a look inside and see if it's dry or not. Plenty of water on the lid. And she's perfectly dry. So that's proof of concept. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.